Hello guys and welcome to a new Warno video today by me Vulcan. In this one I'm going to be starting the Baruda Craig campaign on the pack side. If you'd like to read the description for the campaign feel free to pause the video and take a look but since I read it for the NATO campaign I'm going to be jumping straight on in on of course hard difficulty. Let's switch over to the attacking side which is the Warsaw Pact in this case with the 4th Mutschutzen Division. June 20th, 1989, Germany. The strategic Warsaw Pact's offensive across the inner German border has taken NATO largely by surprise. Facing NATO's Sentag, the Soviet 8th Guards Army begins its multi-pronged attack at 5 o'clock. The objective is Frankfurt am Main, home to the 5th Corps, a key military target and transport hub. At the frontier, the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, with a few isolated battalions, put up fierce resistance for hours. Overwhelming firepower ultimately results in a Soviet breakthrough at Fulda. The armored vanguard surges to Frankfurt. Further north, the flank of the main invasion is assigned to the East German 4th Motorisierte Schutzen Division. They advance on Bad Hersfeld. The National Volks Army aims to press further and seize Asfeld, establishing a covering force. This would protect the Warsaw Pact's axis of attack against any counterstrikes from the Bundeswehr's 5th Panzer Division. NATO has an early chance to disrupt the Soviet thrust on Frankfurt. Warsaw Pact's capture of Asfeld becomes paramount. A series of pitched battles await. The 4th Motorisierte Schützen Division's orders are to cover the northern flank of our offensive on Frankfurt. Capturing Alsfeld lets us block any potential counterattack by the Bundeswehr's 5th Panzer Division. We are facing two armored brigades. They need to be delayed for as long as possible. Three days from now, the Soviet 8th Guards Army will free up additional tanks and artillery forces. These fresh troops would let us continue the advance towards Marburg. Major Müller? Thank you, Comrade General Major. Our first objective is Bad Hersfeld, held by the 3rd Squadron of the 11th ACR. The advantage of numbers is ours as is surprise. It is critical. We cut off any route the American armor might use to fall back on Alsfeld. Alsfeld is only lightly defended by a few West German reservists. The Bundeswehr is estimated to need at least 24 hours to deploy a panzer brigade against us. The sooner we take Alsfeld, the stronger. We can meet the enemy head on, hold the town until the 23rd. Good luck, Comrade General. This time around, we are going first. Comrade General, the heavy American tank force defending Bad Hersfeld might be formidable, but they are not invincible. Repeated assaults should break this armor. And here we are, guys, ready to take on Bad Hersfeld and inevitably Hersfeld. The 11th ACR stands in our way this time. We are not in control of these American forces, these elite American forces due to the hard difficulty. Instead, we're going to be making do with our hardened East German forces. So, actually not too bad, because with the leader, these T-55s are going to be 3 vet. But let's just have a look at the units that we get access to. So we've got the Afghan Battalion at the uh, front here, which is SPW's Mota Afghara Pioneers. We've got plenty of tanks. This is a Panzer Regiment. Also comes with some Motschützen. Wonderful. Plenty of Gewostika in there as well. A couple of AA pieces. Another Panzer Regiment. A third Panzer Regiment. Uh, well, third battalion of that Panzer Regiment 4. Then we've got the rocket launchers behind. These are RM-70s. You actually got a lot of RM-70s there. That's like 18 RM-70s. And they're only 3 points each. So there's a good chance you're going to be able to get a lot of them in one battle. That's really cool. We have the Pioneer Regiment here, which comes with the BM-21s. There they are. Those absolutely destroyed me in the NATO campaign. 
So we're going to be making good use of those this time around. Then we have the Mochutsen regiments. So this is the Mochutsen Regiment 23, the 1st, 2nd and 3rd Battalion, with the artillery, which is 122 mil artillery. There's some other bits and bobs behind. These are more Mochutsen, but instead of coming in BMPs, it looks like they come in SBW-70s. One thing I do like about all of the Mochutsen regiments is they do come with attachments of the Panzers. So that's always cool. And this is more 122 mils. We've got the AA here. Uh, there's more Motschutzen regiments coming in SBW 70s primarily. And then we have Akatsayas, nice. And at the back, it's going to be AT guns, conkers, bunch of leader units. Ooh, four Feld depots. Damn. Imagine those when it, if I had a bunch of rocket artillery in the same battle. That'd be wild. And then we've got our aircraft. So our air support for this campaign is MiG-21s. Now the MiG-21 bits with the four 250 kilogram bombs are pretty good. Uh, these ones with the rockets, not so good. Uh, the lower caliber rocket ones are actually not too bad. Okay, so that's okay. What about these guys? The MiG-23 BNs with the electro-optical missiles, beautiful, and cluster. We've got HE bombers and napalm, and this one is rockets, lots of rockets, and another AT plane. Wonderful. All right, that's some fantastic aircraft. All right, now we've got to work out how we're going to attack Bad Hersfeld. So I think it would be a good idea to maybe send these units up here and these units maybe down here and then we just kind of brute force through the center with the rest of these units i'm not sure if it's actually worth moving up here but we can grab all of those and, and right click them in that direction for now and that will move all of them at once and the main thing to note is the movement points or action points remaining on these troops is shown in the top right so when you're zoomed out at a glance you can you can see the number of action points that they have remaining. Now we need to decide how we're going to hit the 11th Armoured Cav. So I'm going to move up these two because they're the furthest away. Good news. Bad Hersfeld is ours. We are ready to continue the advance to Alsfeld. That should give us two main attacking units. Perfect. And then... I'm not sure if the Pioneer Regiment classes as a auxiliary unit. Let's just move it up. It does. Okay, cool. So that's going to allow us to bring in the BMs. And then we need artillery. Is any artillery actually in range? Could be, because when we... We're playing on the NATO side. I'm pretty sure East Germans got artillery in range. So this must be able to move forwards enough. Let's just move this out of the way. Move that up so that's able to join in the attack here. Beautiful. And we can bring in some aircraft. But before we do anything else, let's move up my AA. And we'll deploy that. That way they don't get any aerial reinforcements air support to help them out and we can pop in both these tank units bring up the pioneers bring up the artillery bring up the aircraft great that should be good all right it's a tactical battle oh they tried to bring in their aircraft and my cubs Stopped them in their tracks. We got a successful interception, destroyed one of their planes. Nice. It's tactical battle and jump on in. So, what we're going to do is try and win by morale victory. They only have 70 morale. So that should be relatively simple considering every Abrams is four points. Now, in order to do that, we need to see our targets. So 
I need to get Aftala. My artillery unit here has plenty of Aftala. We're going to put one here. We're going to put one probably here. Put one in this tree line. Pop one over here. We can run up through that tree line. Definitely put one in the middle. We want to cover basically every road because we don't want them to flank into me. One thing I did realize the last time I played the campaign on the NATO side was that the AI is actually programmed to flank you quite a bit. So it will be annoying if they were to get into the back line, particularly since I plan on using a lot of rocket artillery. <laughs> Imagine if it all just died because a unit got into my back line. <clears throat> the conquers from uh, yeah last time yeah uh let's forget about that and we will bring in a bunch of tanks so the way that i want to do this is certainly get overwhelming with these t55 am2s i'm going to bring in the ones without eight gems for the right hand side the reason i'm bringing the ones without the eight gems on the right hand side is because we're going to be looking for close range engagements. So this tree line here, if I sort of park behind this, they might push through this area. We can pop them. If they don't, what we can do is kind of sneak through and still have a relatively close range engagement against the edge of this tree line. And then even if, if we need to, on top of all of that, we can bring in the Gwazdikas, to, to we could smoke. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of options here, but for now, we're just going to try and get the leader into the corner here and have all the T-55s ready to pounce on the back side. Uh, then on the left side, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is bringing in all of the Panzers with the HGM, so the T-55 AM-2Bs, which have a Bastion HGM with 2,800 meters range and 70% accuracy. So that's really, really nice. So we'll bring in plenty of those and uh, we'll bring in a leader with them as well. That will put them up to 75% accuracy. And uh, of course we need the leader to capture the sector just to make sure they don't win from conquest points before we can kill as many as we can. Other than that, uh, it's more or less just aircraft would be a good idea. We can capitalize early on with aircraft with using our recon. So we'll just bring in all of those aircraft and then next ticks after that will be the artillery the bm21s all right let's go ahead and launch so pretty simple commands across the board uh, i'm actually just going to make this into a quick hunt command i actually have my quick hunt command uh, bound to my mouse by the way uh, just to make it a lot quicker that means i could do something like this if i deselect this t55 leader we can spread out really really quickly with these units in this case, it doesn't really matter at the moment, so we're just going to zoom them all up behind that tree line whilst our recon gets into position. Uh, let's make sure our MiG-23s are ready to pounce on any targets that we find. Let's just get this unloaded ASAP. Uh, I'll try and move up into this tree line. Or oh, those Bradleys can go. Perfect. We want to kill the Bradleys as soon as possible. The M1A1A cap can go down as well. Any recon unit's got to go. They actually brought in the PVADs, so we have to be careful. Nice. Okay, a lot of their recon's dead. It means we can probably just move these up into the tree line here. Just holding right click in order to do the formation like that. I can do the same here. We can select all these T55 AM2s, and if I hold right click, we can select our formation by just dragging. Really handy to know. Alright, and let's start bringing in and napalm launchers. 
Okay, we don't have very good eyes over here. Let's see if we can move this unit up. We'll see that it's following the tree line. The way that I do that, another good tip, is if you click on the bottom right, you can set on foot pathfind to cover. And then when you use a normal move command, they'll stay in cover as they do, or as they move, which is really, really handy to know. Okay, we'll just let that leave. Otherwise, I think we've got some good targets for the for the napalm. I'm probably going to try and get in here. On the left we're okay. Right, we're moving up. We'll napalm this. I'm probably going to napalm these two areas. If there's a leader there, we'll obviously napalm these these tanks. We'll napalm maybe back here and obviously where that M113 is. So let's line these up. It looks really cool when we fire. There is a Bradley there that we could maybe take on. Oh, that's not good. Get out of line of sight. No, the last shot coming through. <laughs> that was lucky. Alright, so we'll do one there. One. And put one there too. Three, four, five, six. Perfect. Right, we need these to be like in line. They can all fire at units at the same time as they come through there. But here we go. Time to set the world on fire. Glorious napalm. <laughs> Look at that. All across the board. Everything being set alight. Huge, huge attack. I'm going to fire further back with the rest of those rockets because some of them should have some remaining. And then we need to make sure we move after the fact so that we do not lose them. Well, that certainly made them come for me. Get the MiG-23s out again. We want to again hit the recon. The recon's the important thing to kill. Because without recon, they are not going to be able to do anything against us. Just pop something on the backside there, very nice. And I'm just lining up all of these T-55s. The reason I'm lining them, them up like this is because that's the distance at which these units coming through will be in line, be engaged by the T-55s. We want it to be in a position where we basically annihilate any unit that comes through there very quickly indeed. Look at that, they're all firing at the same time there. Chain gun. 26 remaining on their morale. Shall we get our supply up here? Because we'll want to do another attack with those napalm launchers, I'm sure. I could get into this tree line, that would be really nice. Let's kill this M3A1 Bradley. It might spot my Alphacladder otherwise. There's the leader as well. So what we'll do is we'll tell this MiG-23 to come in, hit the Bradley, and then we're going to do a shift, right click on the M577. If we're lucky, what will happen is it will dive and kill the Bradley and then kill the M577 afterwards. Almost. Almost. I'm not going to waste the KA 
H23 missile on it. We should just be able to kill that with the rockets. That works, then we can turn the missile back on. I'm turning on and off weapons by clicking on the bottom here, and then we can allow that missile to go into the Abrams. Wonderful. Right, did these all get reloaded? They did indeed, they're ready to go. Any that don't have supply can leave. Again, I'm just selecting all of the URLs, I'm pressing tab, and then I'm pressing my cell button, which I have bound to X in this case. Bradley coming through, or oh, Abrams coming through at close range, no chance. No chance. We've got some really good targets for this napalm. Are these reloaded? They're currently 65% reloaded. So we can just take it easy for a little while. We're not in a rush, particularly. Uh, I can maybe speed things up so they reload faster. And any units that try and push on us, oh, they're going to spot my after. <laughs> with those recon units being there. Hello Bradley. Hi Bradley. Hello Abrams and PVADs. And they're all dead. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Ambushing them at close range. One as well. Let's set up some attacks. So we'll do one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and I'll probably put one like back here. Here we go again. Setting the world on fire. We only need nine more kills worth of points in order to win. So there we go. Job well done. Napalm looks so cool now. This campaign I'm playing on the latest patch, so all of the effects have been like severely upgraded since uh, since we played with the NATO campaign. We are 71 to zero. Doesn't get more total victory than that. These MiG-23 BNs proving to be very, very useful in that battle. And the BM-21s, of course, are absolutely disgusting. Having that many of them is just crazy. Right now, we want to see if we can engage them again. With any luck, we can. I do have this unit that's still in range, so we can move them up. This one can move up like this. We can move the recon over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is not going to be in range. Nope, unfortunately not. None of this is going to be in range. Maybe the artillery? Nope, can't move that up. All right, so this is going to be a bit different because we can attack again. We can bring in these two and we can bring in the MiGs. So we're going to have plenty to take them on with. AA is still good to go. Can't move them because they're already attacked, so we're not able to move in any more forces. Although we do have, yeah, technically we already have two mains and an auxiliary because I think the recon class is auxiliary. We have aircraft. The only thing that I'm missing is artillery. I think we're okay to just go and attack this again, to be honest. Because if we manage to defeat it, when it's on five fatigue, it might just kill it, which would be awesome. Get rid of the 11th ACR almost immediately. It would be huge. We're going to have eight reinforcement points per minute this time around. That's tactical battle. And we'll jump on in. Now we won't, of course, have the uh, BM-21s available. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. But uh, yeah, 
we'll see how it goes it looks like we've moved the battle into a forest which is i'd say that's good for us because we did bring in the mochitsun so we just spread out with mochitsun in this battle sure yeah uh we can use the alf clutter to recon for us i may as well have if I want to use SPWs, like it's kind of free kills. Like they only have 17 morale again. So I don't want to like lose too much stuff and then it only be a major victory rather than a total victory. I'd rather it be a total victory again. We'll try our best to get a total victory again. It's going to be the same where I take Anna and Senta and then we forget about Boris. This time around, it's going to be harder to find the kills for sure. But we can create at least one blob of tanks to head up to the hill. So let's do that. And then we'll get the Mochitsun out. Two, three here. I'm actually going to send some up the right side here. I'm not going to send them too far. We'll have them go to there and then unload and then they can like run up the side here. Uh, these can move up to here and then unload and go into Anna. Uh, these can, of course, just like brute force in. Uh, we will have some Mochitsun and kind of follow them. It's going to be important because we're going to have to go through here. Then on the left side, we're going to want to come down like so. So let's get two groups of Mochitsun. We'll send one to there and one to here. That leaves us with 20 points. I'm going to buy all of my HE bombers. Because those are the good ones, the MiG-21s with the HE. We'll have them on standby. Other than that, I'm going to bring up a couple of Mot Aftara to assist. And just get ahead a little bit. That'll do. Let's launch the battle and see how we get on. Black Forest has got to be one of my favorite maps just because of this view. This is a view that I use a lot at the start of my videos just because it's it's so glorious. When you zoom in on this map, it looks so, so nice. Okay, so yeah, the plan's going to be capturing Anna, and then we'll capture Santa afterwards with an infantry push, backed up by all the T-55s. So every tick, we're going to want to bring in more Murchison now, basically. I might also want to bring in a Murchison Führer, having an infantry... Having an infantry leader will be useful for hiding in the buildings. Yeah, they already captured center, so they did they managed to get that very fast. Tanks moving up, the Mot Aflada start making ground here. Spread the BMP ones out to the right side. Get those unloaded and start moving through here. Okay. These two fifty fives, spread them out. Holding right click and dragging, and we'll just spread them out like that. And then leader in, perfect. Get the Mochitsun to push in on the flanks. Cool. Alright. Mataf Klada and continue forwards. Uh, yeah, these Mochitsun are already on their way forwards. These guys are moving up here. Uh, we got a couple of Bradleys on the right. We can bomb those. That's actually good targets for the bombers.
This is why I wanted to get the Motafkali into position early on. But here come the MiGs. These MiGs are really effective because they dive. They're very accurate. And more Mochitsen, please. I'm going to unload these and uh, have them spread out through the trees. We're going to unload these, start moving them forwards as well. And start moving all of these up. That's going to stay there. We might as well use a rocket playing on it. I did just spot a Bradley at close range here. Interesting. Quite a lot of stuff there. So, put that on. Do nothing while idle, so it stays behind the building. My Mochitz and really not doing as well as I'd hoped. You can take out the Bradleys nice and easy, but the issue we're having is it's setting a light to the ground underneath us. Let's just move over the T-55s. Have these run. Okay, meanwhile, we can't really hang about. We need to start moving up elsewhere. I'm going to bring up my tanks to the left. One of those Mochitz and unfortunately died. Yeah, this MiG's really struggling to kill that M that baby. So. Let's move these in on the flank. We'll also bomb them. Finally, the MiG-21 got on target. One of those needs to bomb that building. Very important kills. Nice. Okay, let's have these continue forwards. And on the left side here, we'll get the other two rocket planes and we'll kill this Bradley so I can continue to move up my infantry. Oh, we managed to slow things down quite a bit. Good. Uh, unfortunately, we lost that. But we took out the Bradley there with the rockets. I don't have to be that scared to use the BMPs. Because they won't cost me anything if I lose them. All the ones with Mochitsen in there, we will want to unload first. I'm going to unload them on the right side here. The rest can continue onwards. And look for an engagement with the Bradley. I only need one of them there. Fünfte 
Right, let's move up on this right side. Have the BMPs move forwards. These BMPs have found the M577. I thought my shit's in out in the open here. Ripped a new one. Tanks have arrived. Make a push in there. Right, onwards we go. Yeah, preferably don't want to take any more losses now. If I can help it. doing their job. And we take in this point. Good. So that's going to stop them from winning by conquest victory. And we now just move forward to the Mochitzen and kill everything else. That works. The PMPs on the right are getting picked up. Let's not waste these T 55s, so we'll send the BMPs forwards. Just need to find eight more points worth of kills. So far, it's been pretty painless. There has been like a couple of monsters in dying that I probably could have avoided. But uh, in terms of keeping things going, keeping up the pace. I don't mind losing a few losses here and there. At the end of the day, we are supposed to be attacking fast and furious in this campaign. So it kind of makes sense thematically, I would say. <laughs> I don't know where their tanks are though. We killed a Bradley on that right side, which is good. Looks like there's an artillery piece there, we can go and bomb that. Actually, we only need to kill that dismounted trooper, there we go. Boom. Job done. Maybe they just ran out of tanks. 66 kills, 28 losses was a major victory. That's a shame. That's a shame. 
We lost just too many. Well, not too bad. My BMPs actually did a lot of damage there. My T-55s upon approaching the town also absolutely cracked the uh, unit there like a nut. Uh, now we just need to cut these off. We've got them out of supply and disorganized. Hoping that next time around we should be able to kill them. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I am going to leave it here. In the next episode, we'll try and destroy the 11th ACR. They should be able to get back to friendly territory. But since they're disorganized, they might not actually be able to move. So that's going to be interesting to pay attention to. But I'll move the rest of the forces next time. A couple of really successful initial battles in this campaign and this is only turn one so having the second battalion of the Mochutsun regiment 23 heading through towards Asfeld already is uh, good progress good progress that's it for now hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye